Hey guys, welcome to the 21st C Sharp tutorial that I'm creating for the new Boston. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use access modifiers, which is like public and private and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you how to create methods inside of your class. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is the uh, class that we created um, in like two tutorials ago and we edited the last tutorial. And you're also just going to need this button one click event. And you're just going to need that to create a new instance of your class. So basically what an access modifier does is it allows you to limit the access that a user has to a method or a class. So for example, we're just going to look at public first. And we're just going to create um, a public method right here. And we'll just have it return uh, the name that we pass in as an argument to this class. So we'll just have it return um, this, uh, this name variable right here. Oh, name. All right. So what public does is it allows you to access this method um, anywhere you would like. Um, you can access it inside of this class right here, and you can access it outside of this class. So we can do mc.name now, since it is public. But if we were to make this private, we can no longer access it. It will give us an error. We didn't show it yet. Yeah. It says it is inaccessible due to its protection level. Which means, yeah, you have to make it public in order to access it right now. And I'm only going to show you those two uh, access modifiers right now. Um, there are other access modifiers, but we're not going to get into those because we haven't learned uh, what they do yet, really. So, oh, and also, um, you don't have to put private here. Um, inside of a class, the default uh, access modifier is private. So we cannot access this, uh, this string name right now unless we uh, put public in front of it, and yeah, we still have that error. It's inaccessible due to its protection level, because it's defaultly private. Um, something else that you can do is you can create um, a static method, and what that will do is it will allow you to access it without um, creating an instance of this class. So we could just do my class dot and then um, whatever static method you have inside of there. So if we were to create, um, oh, and you have to have make it public as well. So if we were to make this like a public uh, void, or no, a public static void that, um, I don't know, we'll just have it show a message box, I guess. So we'll just do like show message. I'll we'll pass a string parameter in there so we can choose what the message is. And... Yeah, alright, so we'll just have it show a message. So system.windows.forms.messagebox.show. We'll just have it show the message. Alright, so basically, this public static void, now we can access it just by going. Uh, we can just actually just delete this right here. We only need to uh, create this. We can just do my class dot, and then it says show message right there. But if we were to delete static, oops, delete static there, um, and then we were to do dot, uh, yeah, it doesn't show up in IntelliSense, so we can't use it. But we'll just put static there, and now we'll be able to access it. So we'll do my class dot show message, and then we'll just have it show, oops, just have it show my name. At it. So now when we debug and click button one, we should get a message box that says that. Yep. All right. So now you know how to create methods and like what to use, what to. Oh, and this is an access modifier. This is just called a modifier. But this public and like private, those are those are access modifiers. So now you know how to create uh, methods inside of your class. You know what uh, type of modifiers or access modifiers you want to use on them. So like, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.